Welcome back to Tragic MTG, and yes, we are doing Duel Masters today. Undoubtedly, you've seen that this exists. Uh, other channels like MTG Unpacked have opened these. They look like a lot of fun. Uh, I wanted to try it out myself. Uh, mine took the slow boat from Japan to get here, and here it is. So this is Duel Masters' 18th set, apparently, and this is the 20th anniversary memorial pack. And why would I open this on a Magic the Gathering channel? Well, in partnership with Wizards of the Coast, they've reprinted some pretty interesting cards um, from Magic's histories in Duel Masters form. And uh, one of those is possibly a Black Lotus, which I uh, definitely want to get a hold of that. There's also like a Library of Alexandria and a Sliver Queen and some other fun stuff. So that's basically what we're after here because I can't read a thing of what that says. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. I gotta say, he's really just... Is he blasting out of there? Or is he getting sucked into whatever that is? I'm not sure. And, um... So, yeah. I'll be looking for those. But I'll also have some commentary about the state of Duel Masters. And Okay, look. Side opener. And it actually works. So, um, yeah. Let's talk about Duel Masters. A game that I've never, ever once looked at. So, here we go. That's a 2000. Uh, three and whoever can read that let me know down below um, looks like some kind of spaceship armada so we'll just kind of look at the flavor here we've got like a a, a dual dual masters here some pretty fun uh, art maybe they're like twin sisters or something this looks like some kind of like the the red lion Voltron very anime which is usually not my style but I mean I, I get it people are into this and that's fine um, don't know what's going on there and I don't know what's going on there, but that's fine. So we got a, a foil, very nice foiling on this wonderful lass with a teapot. She's serving tea and uh, looks pretty nice. Anyway, there's that. So we're going to kind of blast through these. Hopefully this side opener pack won't fail me. Let's take a look. We got uh, some kind of beastie guy there. There's a little animal. We got a green thing. There we go. Library of Alexandria. Exactly what I wanted. Actually, at least it says it right there, so if anyone didn't know what this was, you could see um, the original you know, MTG border frame. So in the context of the Duel Masters game, I have no idea what, was, what this would do, um, So, but it's just interesting novelty for me. Here's like a full art kind of insect warrior thing, a GRQX, absolutely. This one looks pretty amazing. It's like got a 13,000 and an upside down one. And it is really busy art there. Definitely looks like something out of Final Fantasy is my only frame of reference for as far as it comes to like anime style. And I'm horribly behind the times. Um, just not that into it. I'm an old timer. I like traditional Western animation. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, at least I can figure out what this is. That is a motorcycle. And the guy riding it seems to be a plant. Okay, sure enough. It's a full art, so I'll pull it there. It's like a uh, pretty cool Robo Rally kind of thing there. Cool. Got a split card. These are probably interesting. Maybe they have like a dual mode here. You don't flip them over because they're both the same um, orientation on the art. It's like a hand guy. I like that one. This one, it's, uh, I don't know, does green and red mean anything in this game? But he's got a lot going on there. He's definitely gilded for battle I guess you would say the dual card here of a dolphin getting a, a necklace and then down below is some kind of Christmas tree unfolding and then we get a shiny kind of mecha claw thing I think that's what this card is called you want to translate that mecha claw thing I'm pretty sure that's what that is uh, all right here we go kind of blast through these hey there we got a uh, brain freeze? Yeah, is that a brain freeze? A brainstorm, sorry. Duh, brain freeze. And I had a brain freeze. Um, that's a cute little pigeon with a sword. And this must be, uh, Sarah Avenger? Sure. Definitely kind of looks like it. So there's an, another magic card at least. Two in the same pack. That's kind of nice. Great. And then a, this one, okay, like the art is a little clearer to me. It has some contrast between the background and the, and the foreground. Uh, so I like that one a lot. Got a black and white mecha skeleton. Uh, that's cool. I could handle that. 
All right, I'm gonna have to get like all these packs out here. I'm just like stuck in this little box. Throw the box over there. There, I'm doing two at once. Gosh, I'm not used to these kind of packs at all. Even when they do these on the magic packs, they don't work for me. That looks like a Pokemon more than anything. And this one has a cone face, that's fun. Um, there's some claws trying to get another dude. Sure. And then <laughs> Super Robot Bunny Fox. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a lot of like symbolism and in imagery going on in this card. But it's, it's shiny and I like it. Very cool. <sighs> Come on. Sometimes these side openers, I tell you. You know, I'd even look at the back of the cards. Maybe I'll do that with this pack here. Uh, let's see. So that is, yep, the typical dual masters. But this one seemed to have... That's a flip card. Okay, that's what threw me off there. Pigeon guy with an accordion, sure. Pouncing jaguar, no. Natural order. Yes, I think I had seen that that was part of that set. Uh, another. Well, wh why do you part of this in Japanese and part of it in English? How does that help? Is the word another not in Japanese? I'm so, I'm I'm so confused. Ah, uh, there we go. I think this is uh, earthquake. Which is odd that, okay, so this is not the original art for Natural Order, but this is the original art for Earthquake. Obviously, that's not an original Sarah Angel, so I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason was on making these magic cards. So, and this was a flip, which I didn't notice, like, were any of these other ones flip cards? No, but this one has a white back? What does that mean? How could you have a different back? I'm gonna like I feel like that one's special. I'm gonna leave this one out because I like it. You know what I mean? Comment down below if you know what I mean. Alright, here we go. Here we've got another mecha dude with a giant sword. And a super punchy Mega Man kind of robot. These are falling all over the place. I can't I gotta like look really close. Okay, it's like a it's like a lion leaping out of what is that? I don't know. I'm sorry. And this one is a rabbit that has Converse on and has some kind of samurai sword. I don't know. That's when I understand. It's a Birds of Paradise. Now, again, what does this do in the context of, of Duel Masters? I don't know, but I like it. Is this one a flip? It doesn't have a special back, um, but it's shiny, and it's like some kind of bird mech with a staff. Okay. All right. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, this is like, what is happening? It's kind of like vortex and it's like shining down below. I don't know. I really just don't know. Um, some kind of tree guy, uh, another kind of vegetation girl. This is sort of a fish amalgam that's holding an anchor. Sure. Um, this thing is growing out of that thing's head. Is that normal? Do you want that? Okay, here. Pretty cool dragon. I can kind of tell that that's what that is. Very cool art on that one. All right, that's Keeper. Dual Masters. You want to play this game? Can you tell me what am I missing? I know I'm missing a lot, but tell me all about it down below. Um, okay. This structure is foreign to me i don't know it looks like something out of cthulhu like cthulhu of the future and this guy is like coming at you this guy is going this way this guy is going that way so this is actually a human i can kind of tell but all of this on his hand looks very cumbersome i don't know if you would really want to carry that around with you this one seems cool it's like a there we go so it's another flipper so no stats on this side really that i can tell and this one, oops, is a guy, sure. Or a girl, actually, maybe. Um, yeah, so it's like the city has a UFO over it. It's kind of cool. Is that R for rare? Why would they have, again, now I'm like noticing they have like English or, you know, letters of the alphabet down below. I don't know, I'm so confused. Can you not tell that I'm confused? Not a flip, but these girls are very excited for whatever's happening. It looks like wizard school. I'm going to guess wizard school is what's happening there. 
what else is in these packs. This one is an alive chicken nugget. Well, that's fun. Okay, I like that. I think I saw an MTG on pack find one of those. Uh, okay, this one's a sliver, right? It's got to be a mite sliver if it's a green one. Pretty cool. All right, it kind of almost fits with ev everything sharp in uh, Dual Master, so that, that actually makes a lot of sense right there. There's the hand guys again. There we go. Speaking of slivers, there's a sliver queen. And this one is... Oh, that's Nickel Bolas. Look at that. Look at those Nicky B horns. It's kind of... Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. It's, it's a foil. It's really cool. So a couple of heavy hitters there, which, I mean... So being on the reserve list, Sliver Queen and Library of Alexandria, um, this is Wizards of the Coast, like, playing around, I guess. I mean, they're not... They can't do a functional reprint in the game Magic the Gathering, but they can certainly get people in other games all hyped up to sell their cards to us mtg nerds which is exactly what happened uh yeah this one is oh well, let's go this way that is an orb with the letter d on it shining out into a city and and i, I imagine it makes sense to somebody but sadly not to me is this a flip now you guys cool just kind of chilling out there in space, all glowy. I, there's nothing wrong with that. And here's another shiny super armor 15,000 guy. There we go. All right. What else we got here? Motorcycle vegetable guy, natural order again. Um, these city babies are munching on some planets as they do. And this is a rhino guy crawling out of a sewer with a totem. All not happy about it. Sure. Pretty cool. It's a pretty epic snake demon guy. Awesome. Another 15,000. So I'm guessing that like the higher the number, the better it is. I mean, I don't know. Typically how it goes. Brainstorm. I'll get it right. Pigeon accordion guy. Sarah Avenger. Another, another one, another one. Here we go. This is a snail with a square top who looks really out of sorts. He's discombobulated. Interesting, very interesting. All right, coming down to it. We're getting duplicates of other cards, but we just, we're not getting any black lotuses. So like I remarked on MTG on PAX video, uh, they seem to be making that black lotus even rare even among these packs even though there's no there's no other reason for that than make it a big chase this one uh, is a guy eating a calzone like a bunch of calzones he takes one bite and you throw him on the ground and then just just action is happening all around him he's like absorbing the energy of the calzones that's my guess i think that's what all that says and this guy again with the armor and some epic stuff going on and wow there is Okay, so there are multiple colors here. What does that mean? It's like a double rainbow. Very, uh, very cool art though. Even though it's like really busy, and I don't understand exactly what's going on here. My feeble mind cannot comprehend it, but it's cool. It is cool. All right, couple more packs here. Here's the funnel cake in the clouds. Pokemon. Another Mega Man guy. Usagi Ajimbo. Earthquake again, and this one. Hmm, I'm just, is this a, like a Golgari thug? What else would this be? Army of the Damned? It's, it's zombies of some kind. So, I mean, out of all the art here so far, this one's probably my favorite. So that's very telling about me and my per particular tastes. <laughs> I like creepy zombie art more than um, bunny fox ladies, you know? What can I say? So, yeah, let me know down below. Which one is this? How close was I? How far away was I? I don't know. So here we go. Last pack. Last chance at the fabled Black Lotus. The, f the one and only I may ever pull out of a pack. Come on. And this one is like a water slide of infinite serpentine-ness. And there's a bucket of paint in the sky. Absolutely. Of course. Why would you think there wouldn't be? Mecha Titan dude. Uh, another pigeon person. And... A flip note, that one is um, a mecha-like eagle 
Technodrome. Like the Ninja Turtles are probably in there now. And then you got this girl with the gigantic gauntlets. And she's on fire. So very cool. No Black Lotus. Got some other fun stuff. Um, I had a blast. I actually like this card a lot. I'm going to actually look it up and see if it's any good. But anyway, thanks for watching Tragic MTG and Duel Masters. And see you on the next one.